Hey y'all, so today's video is gonna be a real quick little, well, it might not be that quick. I kind of get chatty, but it's gonna be a get ready with me and I'm gonna talk to y'all about like where my mind is and what is going on in life. And yeah, so if you wanna see how I got this nice, natural, everyday look, then let's go ahead and get into it. So I thought it would be a really great idea to like sit down and kick Vlogtober off with y'all by like sitting down, just doing a get ready with me and kind of chatting with you guys about some things. Also, thank you to Merit Beauty for sending me these amazing makeup products that I'm going to be using today. They will be linked in the description box down below along with their prices and all of that good stuff because y'all know I'm not the best with multitasking so if I forget like just charge it to my head not my heart and check the description box but I just really think this is like the cutest little thing like this is the perfect little bag for fall not just like a makeup bag. I don't want this to take too long. I wanna go ahead and get started. I definitely can't talk and do my eyebrows at the same time so they are already done. This is all you're getting out of me today. And I did go in with the brown eyebrow gel from Merit Beauty. So, so it's fall y'all. Um, right now I am just going to go in with this foundation stick slash concealer from Merit Beauty. Now, um, when I first got these products, it was summer. And as you can probably see, I did a really bad job of like matching my complexion. I don't know, it's just off, right? So this is the color Sepia. I obviously needed something different, but it blends well with my Just the Tint from the lip bar. So I'm going to be using these together to get my actual shade. And I promise y'all, I just cleaned my brushes and somehow I missed this one from Merit. I guess it was still in the beauty bag, but I'm just going to use that to blend all of this out and get this palette ready so I can really like talk to y'all. So, you know, it's a new season and it's also like Mercury is in retrograde right now and I am feeling all of it. But even prior to all of that, I think I just really had it in my mind that I wanted to go on like this feminine journey, right? And I really got this because I don't watch a lot of YouTube, like believe it or not, I don't. But I was watching Maya Galore and she was talking about her feminine journey and it really just kind of resonated with me, honestly. And so, if you follow me on Instagram, you know, like I've been more into like other content over there. Um, I've really been showing more fragrance and like just other things that I'm into other than just hair care. Even though I do those other things on my channel, but I don't know, I'm trying to do it more widespread. I've always been into fragrance. Like even like when I was in like middle school and in high school and I remember like what was it uh candy and then like Britney Spears like I I love fragrance that's my jam and it just really reminded me that like I'm just not as girly as I once was and that's something that I really want to focus on they didn't send me a, a concealer so I'm using this one from the lip bar and so um yeah I just really want to get back to being more feminine and it's been a while because life comes at you fast you know what i'm saying but i used to like get dressed up like i have on flowers today y'all ain't never seen me in flowers but i really do miss like being dressed up and looking good and feeling good and smelling good and i just really want to give off more of a feminine energy and i've mentioned that before that like not that i'm super masculine but i'm like super chill and like laid back and i'm totally into sports and yeah all of those things but i just want to be softer and softness goes along with femininity right instead of like so nonchalant i just want to be softer which I'm, I'm really soft with old people and children. Like that's my soft spot. But I want to be more like that in um, an everyday kind of way. 
I'm not sure if you remember, but um, you know, I was on this whole thing where I wanted to get up at like 5.30 in the morning. That hasn't happened recently, but it was before. Like I did it for like a month. And with that, like I was sh taking showers and really like getting up and getting my day started before just going into work, right? And so with that came like, ooh, like my shower routine in the morning was like so extensive and really focused on like just taking care of myself and feeling good and smelling good. And like, I put on a fragrance every day now, <laughs> every day. Like I smell so good sitting in this house by myself every day. But like, I just want to do that. I want to make that more of an everyday habit. So <laughs> when I do feel like going out of the house, it's like, I do this. It's not just on special occasions. Like this is who I am because it's definitely more of who I used to be, especially like when I worked in retail. Cause like I had to put on clothes and makeup and things. And also at that time I was going out to the club and partying and all that. But, um, I kind of want to do that now. Just not to that extent. I just want to be cute all the time and be feminine. So now I am just going to go in with the hazelnut powder from Fenty Beauty and just kind of set my concealer or whatever. I don't know why I'm doing it in this order today. Like I said, I can't talk and do things at the same time. And so like also I want to change the way that I dress because um, I'm very much jeans and t-shirts y'all. So that's why you saw in my Shein haul, I kind of got like, um, I got cute sweats that actually fit. Because um, right now, if you catch me, I wear like men's extra large sweatpants. And so I recently just like threw all of them away. And I've had them since like my senior year of high school, freshman year of college. Like those, sweat, those Hanes sweatpants from like Walmart were just like, a security blanket for me they were so comfy and i would wear them and i wouldn't care who was around and who saw me in them but i got rid of them because i don't want to be that person anymore i want to be cute at home like i want my finances to get to a point where i can wear skims at the house every day you know what i'm saying that is what i am shooting for but um we're just gonna start small so I cleaned out my closet and I like I was telling my mama like I just want to get rid of everything like I'm just not that person anymore or I don't want to be that person I want to be more sophisticated maybe but it's like I don't leave the house so I have to make myself leave the house more not like necessarily be out at concerts and festivals and all those things but like just kind of out because I, I only leave my house now to go to like the greenhouse and Target and Publix and that's not life fairing like come on so that has really been the main thing that I want to focus on and I feel like um, you will definitely see a lot of that now that I'm kind of doing vlogtober going in with my just got paid bronzer i'm not gonna use the blush that's in here because i have a blush thank you mary so i'm just gonna bronze real quick with uh this so with that i i want to buy more grown-up clothes more like you know like button-up tops and not things that are so trendy i want to I want to make sure that I have things in my closet that I can wear season after season. And every year I don't feel like I don't have anything to wear. You know what I mean? Because that's what I feel like right now. Like going through my closet, I was just like, I don't, I don't like half of this stuff. Like I don't want to wear any of this. And so I haven't in a really long time. I literally wear the same clothes over and over. Now I am going to go in with the Merit blush. It's called Mood and y'all, it is definitely a mood. Now you could take this and apply it like directly to your cheek, but it is highly pigmented. So I would not suggest that. Zero out of 10, do not recommend unless you are trying to look super, super embarrassed and not just flushed. So I'm just gonna make sure I have it on my brush really good and I can kind of like build it up, you know what I mean? 
So yeah, I want to get a new wardrobe um, and make it a little more sophisticated. I just love that color. Y'all see that? This blush is one of my favorite items from Merit. And also like make sure that I feel good and look good when I work from home. So that's my intention is to slowly but surely find pieces that make me more sophisticated that um, are a nice transition into adulthood because I'm finally ready to dress like an adult at 35. I feel like it looks kind of harsh, but I'm gonna pull it all together, y'all. Like, just give me a second. For my face powder, I'm gonna go in with the translucent medium deep from Lancome and just powder me face. And so the last thing that I wanna work on a part of this like feminine journey is like not being so independent. Like I am super independent. Your girl will be over here struggling and will not ask anyone for help. Like, I don't, I don't know how to ask people for help. I will do anything for everybody else, but I don't know. I just don't know if they would, I mean, I know. My real friends definitely will do the same for me. But um, I go above and beyond for people sometimes. And I just don't want to ever be a burden on anyone else. I think that's what it is. So, I have to learn how to ask for help when I need it or allow people to do things for me because I also have issues with that. Like I just always feel like I owe people whenever they want to do something nice for me. You know, like sometimes people do things that are nice to you because it makes them feel better. And so like I have to accept that and allow people to do that for me, which is easier said than done. Like I just don't know how to do it, but I am aware that I have this problem and I am working on it. And Feminine Farron is going to not be so into, I mean, I'm gonna always be independent. Like I'm gonna always make sure that I'm good, but I'm going to try and rely on others because your girl is tired. <laughs> That's what it boils down to at the end of the day. Your girl is tired. So I'm going to go ahead and set my face because I'm only going to put on like eyeliner and mascara and I'll do that later. Y'all, this mascara is everything though. Let me tell you. Everything. Y'all see that? Do y'all see the difference here? But um, yeah, the reason I just wanted to sit down and kind of share this with y'all because you may see some of the content here on YouTube about me being more feminine, but definitely on other platforms. I want to incorporate more like luxury and girly and feminine type things. But if you want to see it on YouTube, like let me know. It's definitely going to be incorporated into this Vlogtober because I'm not going to do hair videos for 30 days. Like, let's be serious. But, um, but yeah, that's also just, you know, a part of the changes that are going on with me and just where my mind is, is like, I'm so hard on myself. I need to not only be softer in life, but I need to be softer with myself. And so, um, yeah, that's where I am at. To finish this whole look off, I'm gonna go in with, they sent me two, but I'm gonna go in with taupe, which is brand spanking new for the fall. So hot off the press, so good to me. If I had a liner near me, I would probably add a liner to it, but you really don't even need it. It's just like a nice little lip tint. It's not too much. It's perfect for this outfit. But yeah, look at how quick of a makeup look this was. Now I am already, I'm just gonna go treat myself to a little dinner, you know? And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you did. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. And also, thank you Merit Beauty one more time. I appreciate you. All right, y'all, see you soon.